Hello, uh, welcome to one of the UCB bread bakeries. Let's have a look at the safe health and safety applications of a 20 quart Hobart mixer. This is known as a planetary mixer because you'll note that the action spins around like the moon and the planets. First thing we've got to show you is there are a specific bowl, there is a specific bowl for using with the mixers with a plastic guard. This is a normal bowl. You can see at the back where there is a lug here, there is a plain um, just piece of metal. On the specific bowls that we use with the plastic guards, there is an extra piece of metal above the lug at the back of the bowl, which will enable you to use this machine. First of all, the machine will be connected to electricity by standard, almost domestic, 13 amp plug. Keep your fingers behind the plug and put into the socket and turn the socket on. What we can do then is take the bowl, although we're talking about food safety, uh, health and safety, let's also think about food safety, that it is clean and hygienic to use. The lug here fits into the hole here, and these two um, wackets fit over the lugs here. Everything must be clipped down safely. If you haven't got it in safely at the back, you'll be in this sort of position, which is dangerous. Then we have three different tools that will work with this mixer. Firstly, a balloon whisk. You'll see that the attachment fitting will fit onto this. We also have a beater, okay, it has the same attachment. You will use the whisk for whisking creams, custards, etc. You will use the beater for making pastries, cake batters and other batter type mixes. We have a dough hook, which in the bread bakery you will probably be using it in every second. You can see why it's called a hook and it has this, the same attachment arrangement as the other tools. What we've got to do is fit the main tool onto this shaft, making sure that the heat space for this lug fits into that hole. And then turn it to the left and it drops off. The next thing we're going to do is to push around the safety guard. You need to just be careful with these because they sometimes just miss their place and you'll have to call a lecturer or a technician to help you put them back on. The bowl can be raised with the handle at the side. We've now got an operating mixer. You'll note on the side, there is a timer. You can use it to time mixes, but what it also operates is as another safety feature, because while that is turned off, no power can drive the mixer. Once you have some time dialed in, you can have power to drive the mixer. That brings me on to the simple controls. Green for start, red for stop. You will also note that because this is an interlapped guard, if you try and open the guard while it's mixing, the mixer stops as a safety feature. Let's just see that again. Planetary action, open the guard, stops. One little thing just to note about that, is there's a slight run on from the motor stopping. It doesn't stop dead, so don't try and chase your hand into there trying to beat the mixer. The 
because it might just come round and pinch your fingers against the side of the bottle. So, we could begin mixing a dough. We'll have had all the ingredients in there. We'd mix a dough together on first speed. Then if we stop it and change gear, we can go to second speed. Don't try to change gear with the motor running. Always stop and change. Third speed would normally only be used when whisking creams or custards. We would not use third speed to mix a dough. Too fast and potentially dangerous. When we were going to um, when the mixing is finished, we can stop the mixer, open the guard, maybe check the texture of the mixture, and then drop the bowl down, unhook the tool, and then remove the bowl. 